It starts with a freeze. It gets under pressure with the freeze, and then when it warms up, the sap releases. Is that something? Can you see the sap running through these lines? I mean, it's just, it's, it's solid. This one's running. That one's running. Ah, good. <laughs> I'm a, a Rich Weiss, and I manage forest land for my, my family, uh, DH Busey Enterprises. And um, I'm a, a neophyte sugar maker. I'm a learning sugar maker. We're taking the sap from the big leaf maple tree and running it down into a big 1500 gallon tank and condensing it a couple of different times. We run it into the evaporator and it boils off the, the excess water. And then we have a, a meter that measures the sugar content. 12.4. And once it gets close, then we send it back down the pack forest where they could bottle it properly for us. We're gonna heat it up and bottle it into some gallon jugs and give it back to Rich. The first surprise was that we can even do it. I'm Kent Weiler, I'm an associate professor at University of Washington, and this is a project we got involved in because it will help landowners keep their forests as forests. It provides an extra revenue stream for forest owners. So we'll, we'll put in the lines, um, we'll help them collect the sap. Yeah, isn't that cool how all the ice is in there? The big thing is the expertise. Coming out, showing you how to tap. I went attempted this on my own. We're just learning these things, right? Then in return for that, they have to tell us how much sap came in every day. The goal is to provide enough information to landowners so that they can make informed decisions on the economic viability of an investment. In the end, we'd like to make a buck doing it. And I think that there's a lot of potential to do that. I think the flavor is one of the coolest things about big leaf maple. It's got a little vanilla, a little caramel. I tasted it, it kind of had a buttery, like a popcorn buttery flavor to it. We've now had big leaf produced at six or seven or eight different sites. And they all taste a little bit different. So both are delicious. They're just different in terms of their sugar profiles and their flavor profiles. I hope you film a little putting it on a, a pancake. People cook with it, making wine, brewing beer, cotton candy. There you go. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. That's the... <laughs> Look at that. When you get that syrup, everybody's happy. <laughs> that is absolutely spectacular. Isn't that cool? It really, really is special.